Did you know, according to tieatie.net, 80 million ties are sold per year in the U.S. alone? And I know that each year I'm one of those ties. My name is Joey Scalise, and I've been tying my own tie since the sixth grade. This is because my parents never taught me how to, but I would scour the internet looking for videos on how to tie my own tie. So I'd say I'm pretty good at it. Nowadays, it is seeming extremely important to know how to tie a tie, because based off a fact on tieatie.net, an average of 7.2 ties are found in a man's wardrobe. And I think it is not only important for men, but non-men as well, as it is becoming more culturally acceptable for other people to wear ties. And even if you don't ever plan on wearing a tie, I think it is extremely important to know how to tie one anyways, because you'll never know when you need to help one of your friends in need, or if you just want to mess with them for not knowing how to tie a tie. All you need to have to tie a tie is, well, a tie. But I also suggest you have a dress shirt as well, because in a practical scenario, you'll never be wearing a tie without a dress shirt. So the first step is flip that collar up and wrap the tie around you. Make sure the non-seam side is facing outward and make sure the thin side of the tie goes right below your chest, just like so. So now, the next step is you're gonna cross the thick side over the thin side. Next, you're gonna bring it up forward a little, a little bit, just like this, and you're gonna bring the thick side under and back over again. Now, I suggest you tighten the tie with a thin end every so often, just because you don't want it to get stuck up into the tie to the point where you end up losing it and then the entire tie just becomes undone. So now, the next step is bring the tie around from the back just like this. And now the seam end should be facing outward. The next step is you're gonna do the same thing except on the front side and you're gonna push it down when you're halfway through, just like this. Now, again, the seam side should still be facing outward. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the tie around and up like this. And I want you to put your index finger right where you're about to cross over because as you'll see in a few steps, it's very important. So you're gonna cross over and now the non-seam side should be facing outward again. Next, what you're gonna do, it's a little tricky to explain, but you're gonna go under, you're gonna tuck yourself under just like this, and you're gonna flip it back over. Now, this is when the finger in place comes in hand. You're gonna remove that finger, but where your finger was, you're gonna tuck the tie in, just like this. Finally, you're just gonna tighten and adjust. When you're done adjusting, you could button up the top button, tighten it a little more, just a little more, and then pull down the collar. The perfect shape for a Windsor knot should be about a trapezoid shape. Just like so. Tying a tie is an essential skill to have in life, as most people will end up tying a tie at least once in their life. Now, I hope everybody goes and uses the skills that I taught them for something handy in their life, whether the professional look of them with a tie at an interview helps them get a job, or whether it's just a mess with one of their friends because they can't tie their own tie at their wedding. Thank you.